Hi, my name's Cliff. This channel is Frets and Reads. Uh, we're looking at Audacity today. Um, Audacity is a free uh, DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, or DAW, and uh, it uh, it's quite capable of uh, recording multiple tracks of uh, sounds for you to uh, create create your own uh, recording, really. Uh, one of the first things you need to do is set up the uh, latency within the track. Latency is um, the uh, the inability of the system to um, record everything. There's there's no there's a finite amount of time taken, and what happens if you don't adjust the latency for that? You'll get this. Okay, so I'll show, I'll show you what that looks like and how to alter it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a track. So we're going into uh, generate a, uh, a rhythm track, and we'll uh, we just have two bars. I've, I've preset this to two bars, and the ping we've selected in here is the short ping, 120 beats a minute, uh, four beats to the bar. That's all okay. Create that, and that's created the two tracks. This is what it sounds like. Okay, really exciting. What we're going to do now is we're going to record another track. And the best way to check latency is to record this ping track. So if you press shift down and click on there, you see the little down arrow, that will record a new track. If you've been playing around with preferences, it's the other way around. Just pressing that will record a new track and shift will add it to the end or append it. So providing it's a new installation, shift, record. So let's zoom in and just see how far that is. Now this was set to minus 300. I think when this the system installed it was uh, a lot lot less than that maybe. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in now. I'm going to check how far out this is. 300 is actually overcompensated. So rather than be behind, it's actually in front. So What we're going to do is we're going to measure that distance between the first window and the second one. So it's it's 14 there, 14 milliseconds. So if we take that off 300, okay, so that would be um, 10 from 300 is 294, from that is 286. Um, I know I've done this before, so it's 287, so that would throw me on the maths there. So we, we, uh, we, we extract this amount down here from the amount that's already set. The way that um, it tells you to set up is totally different, but it's um, it tells you to delete this altogether. But we're going to change this to two eight seven because that's what uh, that's what it is. I know that because I've just set it up before the video. So what I do is this little X in there will delete that second track. And we'll just zoom everything again. Okay, do control all C A control all. Let's zoom right out. Come on. Quicker than that. Okay, and we'll do the this again. Okay, and it stops. So now if we zoom in and zoom in, you'll see or it well if you play it you'll hear it. And that's as close as we're going to get. So that means now that when we record in the second audio, um, it'll it'll be in time. So it's important you do this. Um, I'll just show you again how to do it. So we'll delete that track. Okay. Let's just set our our preferences to zero. This is how it tells you in the manual. So set that to zero. So now there is no there is no latency set. So if we um, Shift and record. And now we're going to zoom in. So click on the zoom button and zoom in. So we can see two clicks. Okay. Now we're going to measure the distance between that, that click and that click. So change back to the selector. And we've got 287. 
okay so this is 287 milliseconds too late so what we want to do is we want to minus that so we're going to our um, preferences again and in here this is at 100 milliseconds buffer length um, all of this will sound like um, gobbledygook at the minute um, we're going to leave it at 100 milliseconds you don't want to go much lower than that okay so now we're going to put this in minus 287 and okay that right so now I'll delete this track I'll zoom out again there's probably a quicker way to zoom out to all as I say I've not used audio uh, audacity a lot but I'm just doing this for a, one of the students and so here we go this is the track let's just record that again now we've added compensation these should line up okay so hopefully that makes sense if I play it now you'll hear it's on the dot there and we can zoom in and we can see it's pretty much there look Slight, slightly too far ahead yeah so to push it further back we actually want to have um, less compensation so we could change that to 286 let's delete that set our preferences to 286 I'm not sure that's going to be enough to be honest probably want to be a little bit more but let's go with that for now we won't bother zooming it all oh no we will because otherwise it's just going to record this because it records to what you've got set there that loop position so um, let's zoom out okay until we get off <coughs> excuse me our two bars <coughs> and control all we'll select all of those two bars now let's just So now let's zoom in again and just see how close we are now. And this will this will vary, it's not going to be exact every time. So it's almost wants to be halfway between the two, doesn't it? Um, you can set this halfway between the two if you want to. Um, Done that okay delete the second one zoom out again control all that selects all of that and let's just do this recording for the last time okay now we'll zoom in just to double check we'll zoom in on that one in the middle just to okay that's pretty much that is pretty much there now yeah so that's just playing the 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 loop there as I said before if you don't set the loop to all this time recording my voice in there as well okay so we can delete that now and we can delete that and that is now set up for recording and we can record um, record pieces on here yeah so, so I hope that's been of uh, some use without without setting that that won't, you won't be able to uh, record accurately you'll find things are constantly mismatching so this channel is frets and reads I'm Cliff and um, hopefully you'll join me again to look at some more ways of using digital audio workstations to make uh, music at home. Mm -hmm.